All right, and welcome back. This is our project one, building a survey. If you're just joining us, you should probably go back and watch the other um, beginning parts. What we've done so far is we have created the database and we've entered in um, some generic mock information just so we can view it on the page here. And we've done a little bit of CSS and we've set up kind of the basic uh, um, template idea or layout for our site. And I do really quick want to note that I, I added some CSS here. Our, our, our side navigation wasn't set up just right yet. We needed to change the display property of the link to block. So if you want to catch up with me, go ahead and do that really quick. All right, so what I want to do is we're going to create a couple PHP files. And I'm going to give you a little idea of, of uh, some methods of organizing these. Um, the first file we're going to create is our connection file. And as I noted in a previous part of this, this project, it's not necessarily wise to keep your connection script um, in, in here off the root. You, many times we keep it a, a directory back. Um, on the server so that it's harder for hackers to get a hold of but for this example we're going to keep it here so we can pull it out easy so we'll go ahead and say new and let's control n and we'll say php and let's go ahead and strip out all this html and we're going to start with our php tags and i'm going to do some quick commenting here that uh, and pause the video while I do it all right and similar to when we were working on the CSS anytime I'm gonna do these commenting here um, I'm gonna pause the video so we can save time you don't need to watch me type out comments in our basics of dynamic web development we looked at a connection script and we're gonna go ahead and use that same script here so I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it and I'm gonna run through it and explain it which should give you enough time to type it out if you're not already familiar with this script here so what we're doing here is we're defining some variables and the syntax for this function here for def defining variables is the variable name and the variable value. So we're going to store our username here. Here's our username, our password, our password, which um, I will note this is not the password. Um, I don't want people logging into our server, so um, please don't even attempt it. This is our host name. Nine times out of ten, it's going to be a local host, or it might be the IP address of the server you're trying to access and the database name which we need to change to survey 2011 and here's another variable which is another way to define a variable and what this variable does here let's let's go to code view is it runs the mysql i connect function which will take four uh, parameters First being the host name, username, password, and database name. And it's saying or die. So if if the connection doesn't go, go ahead and output this uh, string here. Could not connect to the database because and then run the MySQL connect error function to spit out any um, database specific errors. So we're gonna go ahead and save this file. And we're going to save it in our config folder. And we'll just call this connection. And again, I can't stress enough that this is not always the best way to do it. You should do a little more reading on, on connection scripts and security with that. Um, but for this example, we are going to keep it in this folder. So we're done with this document here. Um, and just a little trick here to save yourself some time, especially if you're using 
um, commenting like this to label your documents. Let's go ahead. We're going to create another uh, PHP file. So instead of saying file new, um, we're going to go ahead and save this as. So control shift S for save as. And we're going to call this config. And very important, we're going to take this out. And I'm just going to, and I just retitled our uh, name here. Um, the first thing we want to do is we're going to include our connection script by using the include function. And if you're unfamiliar with the include function, what that will do is take another document, uh, whichever we point to, and include it right here. Um, it is the equivalent of typing out whatever is in that document right at this point. So the source code would, um, at line 16, spit out our configuration or our connection script. So whereas our next item here might be on line 18, to our view here, when the page is actually run, it's going to be bumped down underneath the connection script. So let's go ahead and put this connection script in here. Now, we are doing things relatively here and the config document is actually going to be included in our our index page so we need to tell the index page um, that it is in the config directory comment um, and for smaller projects like this the next thing I do is I define our functions files and I don't necessarily remember how much I got into functions in our other PHP series. So I will spend a little bit of time explaining this. Um, but for now, what we're going to do is simply link to a couple of documents um, or include them. So uh, for ease, I'm going to head and copy this block of code and paste it. Um, and we're going to go ahead and change the directory name to functions. And the first thing we're going to connect to is our template.php, which we'll create in a minute. Um, and what this is going to do is hold the functions that uh, are associated with our template itself like generating the navigation and the header and such. Um, there are a couple different ways to do templates like this with PHP. You could simply include a, a header file and a, a navigation file and etc. But I prefer using functions and you'll see what I mean here shortly. Uh, let's go ahead and copy this and paste it. Um, and the next thing we want to do I generally have a, when I start a project, I make a kind of generic functions file um, that I generally call the general functions or my sandbox, uh, a term I got from Wikipedia where uh, if you're familiar with authoring on Wikipedia, you can use their sandbox to mess with a post or an article before actually making it live. It's kind of the same concept. Uh, we just dump all of our functions um, in here and then when the project's getting closer to done I go ahead and start uh, organizing them maybe putting them in uh, separate function files etc this is uh, totally my thing and if you want to use it you can if not you want to figure out another method go for it so we're going to call this sandbox and the last function file I want to set up is what I call the pre functions file and the reason I put it here I don't always need it but I put any functions in here that need to run before all the other functions so anything that absolutely has to um, run before the template or sandbox and etc have to run 
I will put in this file here. Um, and I don't know at this point, since we're still working on this uh, and developing it, whether we're going to need this, but uh, it's there. So we'll save this. And let's go ahead and create our function files. And just like we did with the config file, let's just go ahead and save as. And navigate over to our functions uh, directory. And we'll do our pre. And no, we do not want to uplink links, update links. Uh, we just need to change the name of this. And we'll strip out specific items that were in our config file so we don't duplicate it. Uh, 